think about being in a, a mainstream school setting, public school, where everyone else can see, and you're one of maybe five or 10 students who are blind or visually impaired. Now imagine yourself being in this classroom setting where say we have 30 people here. We all have the same computer. That checks the equality box, right? We all have the same tool. We have the same device that's, that's equal across the board. However, when we think about equity and, and, and being equitable, it might not be the best from an equity standpoint because if my computer is, if it doesn't have the necessary program on it for me to use it, then it's, it's useless to me. It's useless to you know people who live a, a similar experience as I do. And that's where we get into the weeds of, of being inequitable. But Mr. Whitmer, my teacher of the visual impaired, he made sure that I had all of the tools so that I would be able to use that machine. I have the ability, I know how to type, you know, I can read emails, I can surf the web, I can write papers, all of those types of things. But if I don't have the necessary resources, if I haven't been given the proper tools, is that really my problem? You know, of course, you know, broadly speaking, it is, you know, it is a problem for me, but when we think about society and how things are set up, you know, I haven't been given the tools to be able to tap into my potential and to really accentuate my, my abilities. And ultimately, you know, it puts you in a position where using the example, it might hamper your ability to, to gain an education. And that's, that's an issue. It's those types of things where, you know, how can you really think creatively and think differently and connect with the right people to be able to, to find out what types of accessibility options are out there and what types of accommodations are out there to ensure that we all have a, you know, a seat at the table and we're all able to, to do our job and to, again, realize our, our potential.